So it, uh, it's been about 10 years since ARM V8 came out. And so if wow. you buy a ARM-enabled device these days, whether it's a cell phone or a Raspberry Pi or whatever, then it likely has an ARM V8 chip in it. Although ARM V7 is still actively supported that's out there, uh, so you'll encounter either one. Uh, but as technologies evolve, they have to move on to the next iteration. And so ARM has announced that next iteration, which is ARM V9. Um, it's been 10 years, and I, I don't want to be the, the spoil sport or negative Nancy or whatever, yeah, but you uh, do. Uh, I wasn't terribly impressed by all the new features they announced. So uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll try and sum up what we've got. There's basically a 30% performance increase, which just doesn't seem like as high as it should be for a whole architecture. Uh, there's a whole new machine learning module built into it, which I guess if you're doing machine learning, you care about. And for the rest of us, it's just wasting hardware. Uh, <laughs> there is uh, SVE2 support, which just means that if you're a developer and you compile your application, that one application doesn't have to be recompiled if it moves between systems with different size SIMD memory uh, or instruction sets. Sorry, not memory. Uh, you know, so that again, and that, that seems like a, a pretty big deal. They're good features, yeah. right? They're, they're, they're certainly an improvement. It's just not a giant generational thing. Like if I have an ARM V8 device deployed right now, I'm not going to say, boy, I really want to upgrade to RV9. It, mm. It's not that kind of thing. It, it's not like uh, VHS to DVD. It's more like... Um, DVD to HD DVD. It's like Betamax to VHS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it, it's just... For it, those of you who remember Betamax. Yeah, the old days. A bit of an incremental upgrade, yeah. I well, guess. You know? I, from what I understand, uh, when, when version 8 came out, they kind of rested on their laurels for like eight years. And then we're like, oh, crap, we got yeah. to do something. I guess, we, I guess we'll do another uh, chip. What the heck? We'll throw in... I did. Uh, what, what about the enhanced vector processing? What is that? So that's that's part of what the SVE oh, yeah, side is. SVE. Yep. So okay. yeah, you know, a, a vector is like when it's doing a mathematical calculation, gotcha. and and the instructions usually only have a certain amount of size. Like the the example they gave in the article was you might have 128 bytes, hmm. right? But then you go to another system, and it might have 2,048 bytes, okay. right? So you can do longer instructions. Well, you don't want it to recompile your application and run a different size SIMD. So that's that's where these. Uh, the vectors come in. To so. get into any a bit about these uh, improved security measures? That yeah, that's what I was going to ask, because the, the uh. subheadline says security is to ARM v9 what 64-bit was to ARM v8. So it seems yeah. like security is kind of okay. the focus here. So they, they rolled out a new thing. I'm trying to find the name real quick. Uh, Confidential Compute. Uh, I believe they actually call it ACC, which I guess is ARM Confidential Compute. I might be slightly off on the name. Oh, yeah. But the idea is that an application can run, and it can tell the CPU, hey, I need you to run this in a sandbox, basically. And the CPU can wall off those instructions while they're running, and nobody is allowed to mess with it. Even, even an admin or whatever, like once that program nice. is running in the CPU, it's not able to be tampered with, and then it completes, and you get reliable data out of it. Now, that feature will be supported day one. But from the people I've talked to and the, the research that I've done on it, it sounds like it's going to take a while for developers to really be able to leverage that. Because you know, getting your application to talk to the CPU is not something most of us deal with. So you have to wait for the kernel for your, your OS to be able to have that support, and then it'll trickle down to your application. So cool feature. I, I have a suspicion, and I'll just throw this out here, and we'll see how this pans out. But uh, you know, NVIDIA has been working to acquire ARM. And you know that that is not quite done yet. It's still under some mm. some review for uh, uh, monopoly review and all that good stuff. I suspect they're really holding out for ARM V10. I bet they had some big stuff that they were sitting on, and we'll see a bigger increase. And it won't be ten years before that so happens. So I was gonna say, you think this is like a stopgap measure? I do. Yeah, yeah. Mm, they do that. They do like to do that. We'll see. I could be wrong because they, if you wait too long, then kind of that mar cools the market for you, right? And then, yeah. So you got to put something out. Got to be hot. Got to be still relevant. So, hey, we'll add a couple of things, got some neat stuff, a little bit of a performance increase. Hey, what the heck? But the real thing's happening in like five years when we're going to blow your minds, right? Yeah. And it'll probably be at least a year before we get any of these in our hands because we have to get kernel support for the new hardware and you know, the operating systems have to be updated. So it'll be a while. Well, I wouldn't, would, would you say you would be surprised that if the V10 is very compatible with V9, therefore, like, all the stuff that they're ramping up to like be compatible that just kind of feathers right into V10. Yeah, they've been really good about that. Yeah. And I think they even called out that ARM V9 is fully compatible with ARM V8. So, yeah. you know, there's there's a lot of compatibility nice. there. Yeah. If you enjoyed that segment, be sure to check out our entire podcast available in the playlist right here. And you can always subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech news and other happenings in the IT world. Be sure to tune in every Thursday for new episodes. I hope to see you there.